My second season is going well, and I have been within touching distance of a podium on quite a few occasions. Some things haven't gone my way, but we just have to be patient because as long as I keep myself up there, it's all going to plan. I am extracting the most out of the opportunity one have been given, and it feels good. We had a lean pre-season testing budget, but I progressed every time and was looking forward to qualifying in the top third at the first round at Dunnington. However, the new three-lap qualifying format meant I caught and was tripping over another car for my three flying laps and qualified ninth for race one and eleventh for race two. My first race of the new season had a scruffy start, getting squeezed onto the grass and by the time I had resisted that, turn one was compromised and I lost a lot of places which I made back up to finish eleventh. Race two I was fired off the circuit by another car whilst going down a straight, which beached me in the gravel for a non-finish. The worst part about it is that your finishing position for race two is your starting position for race three on the Sunday race, live on TV. Starting 24th and having reset myself overnight, I made many overtakes to finish 15 places higher in ninth. This got me noticed and my season underway and I was ready to show more improvement at Brands Hatch. At Brands Hatch the qualifying was cleaner but I overcompensated for last time and left a large gap, whilst towing the car behind me to pole position. Qualifying 10th for race 1 and 7th for race 2 I knew I could fight from there. In race 1 I worked my way up to 3rd and was comfortable being in the lead pack on pace. However, a move up the inside going into clearways was done and I gave the driver racing room to take the place he'd won. However, the move was completed by ensuring I would be on the grass and couldn't recover. This dropped me down to 6th. In single-seaters the self-incurred damage from pushing a car off the circuit wouldn't be worth the risk, but in junior GT, racing with bodywork, it does happen and happened again at Thruxton. Still, with another strong finish to fifth in race two, I had shown that I had arrived in the front pack. As part of the top five, we had broken away from the rest of the field and I was ready to challenge for a podium position. However, the race ended early due to a red flag incident. Race three on Sunday, starting from fifth, I made my way up to second. However, it rained and I hadn't done any wet testing. We do what the budget allows. I had to make sure I brought the car home in one piece, but I did drop down the order from running in another podium spot.